hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old yet thanks for coming back and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a season greeting for merry christmas so before any further ado let's get started so once you open your photoshop then you go to new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 then make sure your resolution is 300 then you click on create here is our working background then and these are the tests i'm going to use copy this color code ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color ctrl plus v to paste then you go in create a new layer select your brush or you press b on your keyboard then increase your brush make sure the background color is white then you click now the next thing i'm going to do go to your blending mode then change it to soft light after that i'm going to import this background here then you scale it out okay all right go to your blending mode then you change it to soft light then apply a layer mask select your brush then you blend the bottom here all right now go to your blending option or you bring your mouse here and double click so you here you can see your blending option then go to this layer over here then you drag it so you will see something happening to the background now then hold your alt key while you break it and separate it So this is what I want, then click OK. Then after that, I'm going to import this one. Then go to your blending mode, then you change it to soft light, reduce the opacity to 27%. Then now I'm going to select my rent angle. Then you draw a rent angle over here. Apply white color. Then create a layer mask. Select your brush or you press B on your keyboard. Then you blend over here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring this Christmas tree background. So I will leave the link in the description so that you can download and make use of it. Okay, then I'm going to bring this background here. Then go to your Frita Blur, Gaussian Blur. Then apply 7.6. Then go to your blending mode, then you select screen. Then I will leave it at this position. Then create a layer mask. Select your brush. 
then you brush this line that appear over there Control Z then make it like this so that it will not wipe the light effect over there okay alright so the next thing I'm going to bring this design here then reduce the size then position it over here or anywhere that you like then control plus J to duplicate it then I'll take this one over here now hold your shift key then you select ctrl g to group it and rename it so now we are done with the background the next thing we are going to do is the test then i'm going to so here are the fonts i use then ctrl plus c to copy that text over there then select your test tool then control plus v to paste then i'm going to change the font to edwardian scripts then apply your drop shadow So I'm not going to change anything from here. The opacity is 100%. Then the distance 7, spread 7 and the size is 8. Then you click OK. Then duplicate it, Ctrl plus J. Then highlight the test. Why you come over here to copy your test, Ctrl plus C. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. Now hold your shift key while you select the two, then apply vertical alignments. Control plus D to deselect. Now I'm going to import this test here, which I download from Kagu. Then reduce the size. All right then apply the same drop shadow to it so that the test will pump up then click ok so you can see the beauty of it now then i'm going to increase it a little Then I'm going to increase this one. Then you drag it down. I will leave it this way. It's okay here. Yeah? Then this one. Why I will also increase the font size. All right. Now, the next thing, select your rent angle tool, then you draw a rent angle here. Then I'm going to use maroon color. Then select your test tool, then I'm going to type my test here. Then reduce the size, then you drag it inside here. Now, 
Now I'm going to change the font to Helvetica bold. Then hold your shift key while you select the two. Then you apply vertical alignment and horizontal alignment. Then I'm going to copy the last test. Then I'm going to duplicate this test here. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then you drag it down. Then highlight it. Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font color to this maroon color. Then apply vertical alignment. Then I'm going to increase the size of the font. OK. Ctrl plus zero. Now is to zoom to fit. So as you can see, I'm doing an adjustment to it. So I'm going to reduce this one also. Then I'm going to reduce the size of this one. Then I'll drag this one down. Why I will also bring this one down a little. So now I'm going to group the entire test. Then I'm going to reduce the font size. Also reduce this one. So it's not that much. Then I will increase this one a little more. Then use your arrow key to bring this one down. Then I'm going to this image double click it to bring out the layer style then now we i'm going to adjust it as you can see so if you look at the background then you will see the adjustment that is happening to there so you can see over there I'm reducing the size of that adjustment. Okay. So that is all about this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to subscribe, then share to your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. 
And don't forget to let me know any challenges you have under the comment section.